Well, that's very good. What's the setting? Colour changing, slow wave? Yeah. Are you waiting for the bread man? No, he's been. I just haven't, you know, put it away. Something wrong? Yeah. You want to tell me? I'm en route to the second floor of your rhinals, but I can divert. <laughs> There's a faulty vent on the middle android. It flops down and points at your trousers. <laughs> Still, there's some hasty urinators on that floor, so it might be better left where it is. <laughs> What's occurred? Martin turned up last night to sort out the divorce, and I was in the middle of kissing Tony, which wasn't a great way for Tony to find out that I was married. Was the fisticuffs? No, he went off, and me and Martin had a few words, and then Martin went off. And did Tony come back? No. I hung around, you know, in case. Got the tin tomatoes organised properly, that was something. <laughs> Well, them wires were in a tangle last night, but they're flashing away this morning, so there's a metaphor for you. <laughs> I'll pop back later with your bran for your tub. Oh, that's nice. There's our cherubs and our fairy. Present for the bran tub. CD of festive music. Yes, where's my CD? Oh, please tell me it's not round the world with anonymous scory. <laughs> <laughs> She's very tuneful for a Greek. <laughs> Whoever told her to take a crack at Paddy McGinty's goat did an old favour. <laughs> what have you brought us? Seasonal smut and festive filth from the all-star Bavarian knee tremblers. <laughs> Non-stop Christmas pop party, volume three. Man's more classical. Joy to the world, a specially recorded concert with Kiri Tikhanawa, Bryn Turfill and Tommy Steele. <laughs> What's he singing? Little White Bull? <laughs> <laughs> Morning. Hiya. Hello. <laughs> when Luke's tired, I she had sex. Mm. Have we won our 50 quid? Too shagged out to put the bread away. What do we think? Is that why you never put any away? <laughs> Malcolm, stay outside and no peeking. OK. <laughs> Is Stan around? No, he, uh, uh, I can't remember where he's gone, somewhere. Golly, what's happened to her anorak? Oh, it's got torn. What, did you catch it on a door or something? No, somebody pulled it. Have we got any more blonde Kirby's? In the uh, Jimmy Osman mug. No, uh, <laughs> somebody was trying to get me to come for a drink last night and I didn't want to go. Oh, I love all that horsing around, actually. You tell Tony to get you a new one. What's this about, Tony? Look, he's torn all Bren's sleeve, messing about. Oh, when was this last night? Where is he? On the fire escape, I don't see his jacket. Tony! Has something happened? What he's done to Brent's anorak? They were messing about. What's this? Tony's been ripping Brent's clothes off. <laughs> I knew it. Well, if Twink's not here, I reckon that's 50 quid between four of us. Thanks, Bren. What have you done with Anthony? Is he a spent force on the doobie? Oh, gee. Is he, Bren? <laughs> I don't know where he is. Well, he's at home, I suppose. He didn't tear it. It was Martin. Oh, uh, this gets better. Who's Martin? Should we have had a bet on him? <laughs> he's my, um... Callagas man. <laughs> Brother's boyfriend. Chiropodist. Stick insect. <laughs> Husband. How long have you been married? Ten years. Just stand, though. Yeah, cos I've just lately been sorting out a divorce, you know, in case I might want to get involved with something or somebody. With Tony? Well, not not with him. Not excluding Tony. He'd obviously be one of the main... Yeah, Tony. <laughs> <laughs> Did Tony know about your husband? He does now. I was kissing Tony last night when Martin turned up. A quick kiss or a snog? Oh, leave it, Anita. <laughs> just thinking about our 20 quid. <laughs> The thing is, if Tony can't stand the sight of me, then we can't all work together, and I think I should go. Oh, surely it doesn't need to come to that. Does nobody ever bring the blooming milk up on me and Bren? Morning, Jean, Dolly, Anita, Malcolm. You're not speaking to me, Malcolm. <laughs> Philippa, where's Twink? Still throwing up, fair enough. It's the last pies we're having from him, though, I tell you. <laughs> hey. Do us a black coffee, eh? I was mixing me drinks last night, thanks to your stupid husband. He likes a drop, doesn't he? Flipping heck. Well, get your overall on, then. Standing around in your blithering jacket. It's a canteen on a dry ski slope. <laughs> if he phones again about that vinegar, tell him to F off. <laughs> Morning, Stan. Crack a smile, why don't you? It is Christmas. Get the phone, mate. I'm having a fag. Hey, Brian. What? Are you still coming to Scotland with me tomorrow? Um, Say yes. What? She said yes. Good enough. 
<laughs> Is there no bacon? Bacon? Yeah, bacon. Can you ask me that again? Have you not got any bacon? Have I not got any, or have I got any? Look, I'm not from the news of the bloody world. <laughs> I'm only trying to get myself a bit of pig in protein. <laughs> Bren, for the love of God, have you got any bacon? Can you hang on? I'm just doing it now. Are you short staff? Yeah, Twink's off sick. But where's Jean, Dolly? Still in the toilet. Yeah, it's taking a long time. She's wearing a new all-in-one body shaper. It's a complicated gusset when you won't wear specs. <laughs> Oh, I know. I'm sure it's very alluring in the bedroom, but you can't be fiddling with your crutch when there's a queue building. <laughs> Don't look at me, I got both hands on the tray. <laughs> you got your underwear sorted then, Jean? Hey? <laughs> what I took the time, press studs. Have you been telling him about my body shape? Huh? Yes. We didn't get the full picture, though, Jean. Uh, no colour was mentioned. Cafe au lait. Nice. <laughs> Shall I just strip off now and walk round in it? Would that help? Not if it's going to hold up the bacon. <laughs> you know, you were asking about bacon. Yeah. Well, we haven't got any at the moment, but Bren's just doing some. <laughs> what are you on? A two minute delay? <laughs> She's just told me that. I was going to say it before, but then I started thinking about Michael Aspel. <laughs> Can I push in, do you mind? Can I have 12 rounds of white? Low fat spread. Too late for that. I've already had a box of butter Brazils. <laughs> Tony! Is there any news? Lots. Last night, Bren and Tony actually had their first kiss. No! You'll have to hang on, Jane. It's not hotting up. That's OK. What's the matter? Nothing. You carry on. Go on, look at the toaster. What? Can you uh, finish off the bacon? I've got toaster trouble here. There they were in their first clinch. Guess who walked in? Tony's wife. <laughs> Close, but no coconut. <laughs> Bren's husband. No! Do you need to be going on with? Oh, I really appreciate it, Bren. No, don't mention it, Jane. It was a pleasure to do. Bloomin' heck. Tell you what, forget the flipping bacon. Have you got any antidepressants? <laughs> On while we're waiting. What is it? It's Disco Monks. It's their new CD out for Christmas. Religious plain song with a disco beat. It's the only really holy music you can do aerobics to. Stung Jean. I thank you. And we've worked with her for years and she's never said a oh, thanks, Brent. <laughs> never mentioned her husband. Look, I've got to talk about last night. Did you and Martin have a drink? Is this big volume not the volume? It might be. Excuse me, is there no knives? Because there's no knives. Um... <laughs> Sorry, Anita, can you pop out with some knives? Knife and fork knives. Please. <laughs> so last night, when you and me were... Snoggy. And Martin came in and you left. Yeah, I was upset. No, I was annoyed, so I went across the road for a drink and in comes your Martin, looking quite friendly. Well, as friendly as you can look with the broken nose. What's this music? Disco monks. They're real monks with a genuine love of disco. It's not a gimmick. Why did you marry him, Bren? God, this music's horrible. I can't think. I mean, he's a drunk, isn't he? Bren? Toast baguettes on that, can we? No, they get stuck. No, they get stuck, thank you. What a question. <laughs> I know he, like, tricked you to the registry office. Why did you go through with it? Well, I was a bit scared of him, you know, and all his friends were there and they all had teeth missing and... <laughs> but mainly it was the registrar. She came in with his neck brace on and, like, limping, and she said, I shouldn't be here, I've come off my moped, but I didn't want to let you down. <laughs> This is my favourite bit. And she had a uh, black eye, this register. And her hair was all flat on one side when she did the tarmac. And <laughs> I just thought I should go through with it. So you got married to a drunk you were scared of just because the registrar had a neck brace and a flat hairdo? Well, she'd come in specially. <laughs> oh, blum it, music. Let's put yours on, eh? Oh, I can't play it on that. It only takes CDs. It's that brass band I really like. Oh, yeah, I know them. I drink with one of them. 
I'll get you a CD of it. Will ya? Might get it in your brand tub tomorrow. Excuse me, is anybody clearing the tables? Because I don't think there is anybody clearing the tables. <laughs> Anything else you haven't told me? No. You know everything else. Nearly 42, no children, love brass bands, hate celery, <laughs> brought up in a children's home, always wanted an etch sketch never had one. That's it. Take over for me, Dolly. My flaming crotch has popped again. <laughs> never mind Preston. She could do with a few rivets. <laughs> Tony going to Scotland tomorrow? Shh, we're supposed to be. Why? So you'll be at home packing tonight, separately. You'll be too busy for Anky Panky. Why? Well, you know we've got this bet on. If you could control yourselves till Christmas morning, I'd be 50 quid up. <laughs> One bonk to you. <laughs> Ten bottles of wine to me. <laughs> God, what is that music? Look, I don't think anything's going to come of it. I've not exactly had much luck with men. Like me, I'm a tropical fish. At least we're men. You don't come downstairs in the morning to find eight of them floating face down in the water. <laughs> anyway, give over. Nothing will come of it. Tony's dead keen, you know. What on? On you, you popsy lame brain. Oh, sorry, Bob. What do you reckon to this music, then? Bloody awful. I'll bring you some proper music in tomorrow. Here, your husband turned up last night while he was snogging Tony. Anybody who are waiting for bacon? <laughs> Anita, you know this surprise for Bren? I'm going out to meet the bloke now, so don't tell Bren where I've gone and don't let her get the phone. You know what this is like? What? A little princess. When she's in the attic and the monkey comes. <laughs> Not long till Christmas, Tony. Just hang on. Are you going out? Yeah. Cos, listen, about us going to Scotland, how long is it going to take to get there? In my car, anything up to three weeks. <laughs> Look, I'm just going to shoot off home and get my head down. One night with you and one night with your husband, I'm flagging. I don't know how bisexuals manage. <laughs> so, uh, I'll see you tomorrow. See ya. <laughs> Bren, do you think you'll get as far as having babies? Hey? <laughs> you and Tony? I think we'll be lucky if we get as far as Carlisle. <laughs> No, I mean it, though. I don't know if you can, all that chemotherapy and stuff. Anyway, it's a bit early for all that, isn't it? Not to mention a bit late for me. Speaking of which, have you checked the dates on those yoghurts? You're only 41. Look at Ursula Andress. Look at your mother. Mm. Can I get as far as Ursula Andress and then stop looking? <laughs> Did you want babies before, though, Bren? Do you wish you'd had them? Oh, yeah. Yeah, of course I do. Yeah. Go and check those yoghurts, eh? We gave you all these so-called database details the other day. I know, and I put them into the computer. Who's on Sprouts, Jean? Who will be the next James Bond, Sooty? <laughs> You're reading across two columns again. <laughs> put your specs on. I didn't think Sutty was a very good choice. I'm not mad about Pierce Brosnan, but at least he's not running around with Matthew Corbett's hands stuck of his... Thank you. <laughs> and then I wanted to save the document. Listen, turkey dinner. It's not ideal for James Bond, Sutty. He'd never be able to handle the gadgets. <laughs> but he could surprise the villains, because they wouldn't be looking down that far. Yeah, Anita. <laughs> and when he's face to face with Mr Big, in his nuclear bunker at the end of the film. And Mr Big says, So, we have been expecting you, Mr Sooty. <laughs> Sooty will smash an egg over his head and squeeze toothpaste in his eye and that'll be the end of the film. Have you finished? <laughs> and then over the credits, you'll see him in bed with Sue. <laughs> <laughs> Sipping a cocktail. Bye-bye, everybody. <laughs> Look, don't you start. <laughs> So I put all your details into the computer. Tom's teaching me how to do that. I'm dead keen, actually. The minute he gets home, I'm fiddling with his laptop. <laughs> Lucky old Tom. <laughs> Sorry, was that a...? No. Anyway, so I put a border of little cups of tea round it for the canteen. Or well, there might be cups of coffee, I don't know. And it said, do you want to save changes? You can see why gone with the wind at an interval. <laughs> 
Yes, I do. Are you sure? Well, no, I'm not sure. Philippa. I mean, we were sure about Rock Hudson once, weren't we? Oh, <laughs> oh that was well known in our house. Thank God for cigarettes. So, Anita. <laughs> Anita's date of birth? September 15th, 1975. Well, you shut the door! door. What about Rock Hudson? Oh, are you totally out of touch with gay gossip? No, I know about Ben Elton. Ben Elton? I don't mean Ben Elton, I mean John Elton. <laughs> Elton John? Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> it's just that they write it the other way around at HMV. <laughs> And now yours, Dolly, just says 8th of April. 8th of April, 19... 19 or what? <laughs> Aya! We're doing requests. Oh, what a brilliant idea. <laughs> what are you talking about? Uh, we're saving up to send a poor little lad to Disneyland. Oh, is he poorly? No, he just wants to go. <laughs> oh, it's for Mr Michael. We're having a whip round. Any requests? Do you know, you'll never something, something with an Eskimo. Al McCorgan. Do you know it? No. <laughs> What's that thing Ross Conway used to play? The piano. <laughs> no, it, it was a tune. Oh, no, it's gone. We're doing songs, Stan. Got any requests? Do you know Mr Wolves and Air Aid Warden now by George Formby? No. Didn't think you would. <laughs> Turned out nice again. <laughs> Bloody hell, you try and bring a bit of entertainment to folk and all you get is hard faces and Alma Pig and Corgan. <laughs> We've only come here to do your flipping favour. Well, we only know one bloody tune anyway, so you can have that and flipping lump it. Jingle bells from the middle after four. Four. Dashing through the snow in a one horse open sleigh, all the fields we go, laughing all the way. Ha ha, the bells on bobtail ring, making spirits cry. Oh, what fun it is to sing a sleighing song tonight! Hey, jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one horse open sleigh! Hey, jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one horse open sleigh! your Christmas dinner this afternoon and swapping presents? Yep. Is it just for cantini people? Yep. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> Get a stupid hat off her, Bren, otherwise we'll have another 20-minute palaver when she brings it back. Uh, Philippa, hat. Oh, sorry. Yours fell off the flipping database as well. Just says Ember, 1957. December. The... 24th. That's today. No one knows. I don't do birthdays. Don't tell anybody. Oh, oh crikey. It's Mikey. <laughs> Tony? Did you know about Bren's birthday? Eh? Hey? All right, Mr Michael. You know I'm retiring. Yeah, what are you going to do? I'm going to dress up as Father Christmas. Oh, will that not get a bit annoying by about March? <laughs> <laughs> Just today. Oh. Well, shall I nip out now and get her a birthday card? We want to get her a proper present. Jane, can you do me a favour? Can you do me one? Not have sex with Bren till tomorrow morning. <laughs> oh, honestly, who has sex on Christmas morning? The Dalai Lama. <laughs> well, he must peel his sprouts the night before. How much bigger is Bren than you, Jane? So, I'll be on the fire escape at 3.15. Ah, well, you won't get the door open from the outside. Well, I'll jingle my bells then and you let me in. Side saddle. What? Russ Conway, that tune. Oh. Now do you see the point of HRT? <laughs> On a count of three, Dolly. One, two, three. Hey! 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 Is the bus reversing? <laughs> Ladies lifting furniture with the next territorial in the vicinity, I think not. The deceptive these tables. Ladies could dislodge an organ. <laughs> with dinner because of the you know what. I can't wait to see Bren's face. That girl is going to be over the moon. <laughs> Stan, two ticks. Are you putting the cloth on? Yes. Well, make sure it's level. <laughs> so, mate, can we talk about what we're doing about Scotland? I don't even know exactly where we're going. Hey? Are we still going? Uh, sorry, hang on a minute. Did you get an update on the weather? Snow. Oh, damn. Over the Pennines? Moderate to heavy. 
Why can women not lay a cloth in one movement? <laughs> We're not going over the Pennines, are we, to get to Scotland? No. Are we still going? Uh, can we talk about it later? I've got to make a phone call. Brennan, I'm just going somewhere, so I'll see you later. Have a lovely afternoon. You deserve it. And I hope you get what you really want for Christmas. Stan! Tony! Oh, shall I get no, that? No, I'll get it! Hiya! Oh, hello. It's Mince Pie Mini. Oh, don't you? In two days I was throwing up with them. Oh, are you all right now? I'm now. I'm getting more than 80 words out of Twyford's, though. <laughs> well, you've missed the romance of the century, you have. Brenda and your man here. No! Did you get it on? Have I won half 50 quid? Well, oh, hey! Did he take his card off? <laughs> Sad one. Is it true you've had your wicked way with Bren? Sorry, I've just got to uh, Stan! Oh, God, Bren. It's not gone off your head, has it? <laughs> Typical. Where's Bran Tub? Uh, now, I need to tell you something about the Bran Tub. Oh, hello. Well, sure, you know, from our Christmas dinner. No, I know. I know that. Do you want something? That's what I wanted. What? Tony, we've promised ourselves a kiss for Christmas, haven't we? Yeah. And it has to be in the office, because I can't let myself go near a bacon slicer. <laughs> Excuse us. <laughs> I better check the veg. What do you think of that? Random flicker. Good visual accompaniment to Sprout? <laughs> He's changed his mind, hasn't he? About taking me to Scotland. No! He's wishing he'd asked Jane. That's why he's not talking to me. Look, he's got a nice surprise for you, and that's all I'm saying. Oh, yeah, me CD. I was forgetting about that. Stan, can you strain these carrots? I can. I've strained carrots on Ben Nevis. <laughs> I think it's a brilliant idea. I can't believe you thought of it, old Tony. What about Tony? Yeah, what about him, Jean? Uh, Tony, uh, we were just saying that, um, in no way does he resemble Russ Conway. <laughs> even in a dim light. <laughs> I'm going to see if Anita's car's still here. What did he say about for Jean? About rush stupid Conway? She be thinking all sorts now, will Bren? Oh, no. Not today. <laughs> No. We're having a staff party. Sorry. Staff party? I wish I had the courage to be bourgeois. <laughs> Gee, how's that lovely hubby of yours? He's in Cardiff with a lipless dental hygienist. Go gay, Jean. There are some lovely girls around. <laughs> Who's that at the Red Lion, Janice? With the chain and the dog collar. Phoebe. <laughs> No, Phoebe's the one with the Adam's apple. <laughs> oh, it's a lovely kitchen. Clean, anyway. I was in an institution once with a kitchen just like this. But I set fire to my mattress. <laughs> Had to be moved. <laughs> it wasn't suicide. It was matricide. <laughs> <laughs> What do you want? Well, I was just thinking, it's a family time, Christmas. I said that to George because he's invited me over. Gershwin. Michael. <laughs> Could you credit that business in that public toilet? I can't believe a policeman would stoop so low. <laughs> If you're on the scrounge, we've cleared the counters. Mm. Padlock the freezer. Mm. Oh, I love that salty humour. Pure Tony Warwick. No, I was settling in for a cosy Christmas on the forecourt, and I thought, no, be a mother for once in your life. Spend it with Bren. Bren's got other plans. Oh, Janice and I would enhance any gathering. Yes, I do a trick with a bottle. Uh. <laughs> 
I bet you do. I know all the games. Spin the thing on the thing. Pass the thing. Brent's managed all the other Christmases she's been on her own. I had her too early. There was too much going on. You can't jive with one hand on a pram hand. <laughs> Look, Brent's going to Scotland straight after the party. Even better! Janice's homeland! Oh, Glasgow! Charles Rennie McIntosh, Vidal Sassoon, British Home Store. Well, thanks for popping in. Jimmy Shaw. Oh, what a gentleman. Oh, Campbell Town Lock. I wish you had whiskey. I would drink you dry. <laughs> a little Billy Corner list. Still thanking me for getting him out of the folk club. <laughs> Shall we drive up with Bren and Janet? Excuse me. Can you go on now, please? Oh. <laughs> Brent's just got it together with someone and she's spending Christmas with him. You've ruined her summer holidays, not to mention her life, so why don't you take Connie Carlsberg here and get lost? Nobody apologise! <laughs> I had all the half-headedness of youth myself once. Oh, Jimmy Logan! Molly Weir! Cleans baths without scratching. <laughs> what do you mean, Bren's got it together with someone? Which sad no hope has jumped on board this time? Right, that's enough. You're turning nasty now. Get out! Well, let's see what my daughter has to say. Let's not. Let's just beg it off out of it, shall we? I need to be with my family. Where's Bren? She wouldn't throw a pregnant woman out into the snow. <laughs> You're no more pregnant than I am. Show them my scans, Janice. Get out, the pair of you. What, what, oh, what, what without seeing my firstborn? <laughs> I read Oh, that's brilliant. See if I wait here, will another one come along for me? <laughs> There's no harm in having two watches, is there? No, no, it's very smart. Water resistant. Oh, that's good. No depth given. <laughs> Get a move on, Stan. Roger Wilco. Tony from Twinkle. And Twinkle from Dolly. <laughs> oh, he's lovely. <laughs> Thanks, Dolly. I gave you that two years ago. <laughs> Did you? I suppose if I'd been on HRT, I would have remembered. <laughs> oh, bacon. <laughs> Thanks, Twink. You like bacon, don't you? Yeah. Cos I never know what to get, men. I was going to score you some Viagra, but the bloat never turned up. <laughs> no, bacon's great. <laughs> Just Bren from Tony. <laughs> no, there's nothing in here. Oh, ha-ha. Oh, Bren, I knew I'd forgotten something. It's OK. Look, <clears throat> have the fiver. You nip out and get yourself a pair of tights or something. We'll clear up. No. I need a pair, Bren. This body shape has shredded mine. <laughs> Just nip to the petrol station for Jean, eh? <coughs> Take your anorak, Bren. It's freezing. No, I've ripped it again. It's 20 past three. <laughs> Flip it, eh? Get them shutters down, Stan. John, brilliant. Brilliant, man. Good time, you know what? I'm a new nursing, you get what you wanted, Bran? I'm gonna go, Stan. Hey, we haven't finished our party yet. I'm handing me notice in. This thing with Tony isn't going to work. Because he's going to go off me. Because they do, don't they, men? Go off you or leave you or whack you round a bit. And it's, it's just going to be really difficult working with him once hey, that happens. Hey, hey, hey. It's just about the CD, not buying you the CD. Well, no. Well, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. He said he'd do it, and he didn't do it. But I really like him. I always really liked him. And I'm bound to bugger it up somehow, excuse my language. So, uh, will you give him this? Oh, don't go just yet. <laughs> Did I ever tell you about the day I had to go to casualty with a dart in my head? 
No. If you take my head as a dartboard, it went in here. Low score. Double top, I'd have been dead. <laughs> Look, I want to go before he comes in. Uh, well, just let me tell you this. In case you ever get a dart in your head, because it happens more often than you might think. Don't do what I did. Don't try to knock it off your face with a screwdriver. <laughs> go on. Do you want to see what he's got here for Christmas? What do you mean? This Tony you've been worrying about. Tape. Sorry, I couldn't get him in the bram tub. <laughs> oh, and this is your birthday present. Do you like it? We had to send Jane out for it. Is it all right? It was that or aubergine. <laughs> and this is from us. And me. <laughs> plane tickets to Scotland. Lassie's on the plane. I've done some phoning around today, I'll tell you. <laughs> oh, and this. It's just a stupid little thing. <laughs> Be flipping bet, haven't that? No way are they going to hold out till Christmas Day. They'll be at it on the flipping plate. Yeah, get your fifty quid out, loser. <laughs> you don't have to draw on it or anything. It's only like a joke. <laughs> Were you not kissing Jane then? No, I was trying to get the plane tickets off her without you seeing. And why were you worried about the pennons? Because this lot were coming over from Yorkshire. Well, I thought you didn't like me anymore. Oh, shut oh. up, man! <laughs> What the desert sand is that? <laughs> so, are we not driving to Scotland? We're flying. Oh, flying to Scotland, you'll be able to get rat -ass. <laughs> Thank you, Mother Teresa. <laughs> <laughs> I was shaking my bells for quite a long time. <laughs> Have you written me a note? What is it? Oh, it's nothing. What is it? It's nothing. Yeah. 